And sometimes I have to talk to people who want to find people who can do work. And then try to convince them somehow I know what I'm doing. And believe it or not, that's the difficult part. Because you get people asking questions who really don't know what they're doing. And other times I'm doing professional screening. Hey, 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 I need you. Where I try to figure out if people know what they're doing. Most of the people I interview do not really know what they're doing. Hey! hey. See anything you like? I think they do. But then they really don't. Some people like to think that, uh, for instance, JavaScript is magically multi threaded. When it's not, never has been, never will be. They like to think that somehow a while one is not an infinite loop when it always is. Or that somehow JavaScript will automatically get rid of that while one because there's nothing going on when it never will. Or that somehow the events will keep firing even though they won't because it's single-threaded. Or that somehow the browser won't pop up a little dialogue that says, hey, your script is dead as soon as it hits the while one. Because it'll always do that. Those people, sadly, do not know what they are doing. Now, maybe they can read and write JavaScript, but they have no clue as to how it really works. So they get classified as being satisfactory because, honestly, you don't have to know how JavaScript works to read and write JavaScript. You don't. doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. But they're certainly not superior. If you want to be classified as superior with me, you got to understand how the technology works, in addition to being able to read and write the language. That would be superior. Otherwise you're just satisfactory completely satisfactory that you can very stupidly write code and read it. You don't have to know how it works. Approaching Approaching launch launch location. Location. You can be a dumb as a stump developer. Nobody's gonna care. Warning. Warning. Hostiles Hostiles detected detected near. But you're not superior. You're never gonna be an individual contributor unless you understand how this stuff works. Because sometimes you gotta understand how this stuff works. And if you don't, you're gonna get yourself into trouble. Because things aren't gonna work sometimes. And then you have to understand how the technology works. So you can fix it. But most of the time, as long as you're working with other people, you don't have to know how it works. As long as you got four or five other guys who can, you know, coach you when you don't have the information. Morning. Incoming hostiles detected. Hey, this is supposed to be easy. Projects I work on, I'm working as an individual contributor because there ain't nobody else. Because people's budgets have been cut to the bone. They'll hire one person rather than five. because they don't have the funds to hire five. 
Whereas 10 years ago, 15 years ago, people would hire, you know, 5 or 10 people. Because they had the, the budget. And now budget's been cut to the bone. Now you're going to be lucky if you work with one other person. At least at my class. And I've been writing code for four decades. Believe it or not. I started writing code when I was 14 years old. Now you can do the math, but I'm not going to tell you how old I am. Because I don't want to bore people to death with how old I am. But yeah, I'm 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 that age. And guess what? I'll be writing code for the next two or three decades. Don't worry about that. So let's see, I've got uh, 200. I've done one HVT. Go for it, Agent. You take care out there, you hear? Hey, I got something new right here for you. And you get to listen to me ramble until I have a phone call. Lucky you. Most of the time I do these without comment. And then people say, why don't you talk? Because talking really doesn't add anything to what you're seeing, except you're listening to me talk. So you can consider this to be Cappy Smack Talk Radio. Coming to you live from Denver, Colorado. I don't know that that adds anything to what you're seeing. Other than you can listen to me ramble on. I'd rather watch Babylon 5 while I do this. It's a lot more fun for me. Frankly, I think it'd be more fun for you, but we're going to we're going to give this a test. So, this is assault just buzzing through the daily HPTs. Because by the time I get done through uh, you know, one character's worth, I've got maybe uh, six or seven hundred global event points. Do that four times in a day, and um, I'd probably have enough points every day to get one or two, maybe three global event caches. Where I've got two opportunities to get another classified gear set item. And this time only had three out of three. The last time I did a multi-day event, I think it was a four-day event, I had enough classified gear set items to get them maybe almost two for every cache, which was really good. Good drop rates. Oh, they're taking a lot of fire. That sucks. Kill some people. Thank you. Murder some people. They're not murder when it's self-defense, though, is it? There are a lot of these guys. There are more hostiles incoming. Not to get behind me, which is bad. And I got to keep them in front of me, where the million hit points doesn't seem good. You get damage bleeding through, and that's bad.
Being on fire is bad. Just in case he thought it maybe wasn't. But, you know, when it comes to the bosses, they die pretty fast. And that's what I like about this event. Now, I've got too many items. i got to dump some stuff. i got people shooting at me, which is bad. Very inconsiderate NPCs. I just turned those into materials anyway. Doesn't really matter. From this character, I got a lot of stuff. A lot of it I don't need. A lot of it I don't want. The only thing I want in this character is classified gear set items. And as you can see, I've got 5,000 division dollars. Because there's nothing to buy. You can't buy classified gear set items. drop rates are abysmal. And I don't feel like grinding away doing the same dull and boring stuff. At least this is somewhat interesting. HVTs. Notice I said somewhat. Because they do change every day. Now there's only two variations. But they change every day. Hey, 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 Jajin. I need you to check, check it. Now, who do I have to kill to get out of here? There we go. Can't fast travel if you're in combat, son. So I'll break this video I'm making up now into 15 minute segments and put a segment out every day. And then people can be, you know, bored to death with watching me kill stuff. I got 375 global event dollars, points, whatever. 1500 gets me a cash. And I'm going to go kill Bluebird. And just to show you, there's really nothing to buy. I've already got everything from here. Because on this account, this is Xbox One X, I've been doing the division for two years. And even though classified gear sets have only been out for a couple of months, it feels like they've been out for two years. I mean, it feels like of it, I've had to grind and grind and grind forever just to get a complete classified gear set where you need six pieces